when God is the one testing us, what are we going to do? When we pray, the only person that will answer the prayer happens to be the one that is behind what we are going through in life. What shall we do? So in this video today, I'm going to teach you how to overcome. Just as Job said to God, when you try me, I will appear as good at the end. Because in our Christian race, I discovered that God do test us. And every child of God must go through tests. That is why the Bible says there is time for everything. Everything in life has time and season. The Bible began to tell us the time to cry and time to rejoice. That is to say, there is a different season in life for every man that wants to follow God. So when God is the one that is testing us, what shall we do? And how can we overcome that testing and we appear as good? As we saw it in the life of Job, the Bible said that Job was a righteous man, a man that feared God and eschewed evil. As every one of us think that a man that is righteous, as a holy man, as a man that is fearing God, don't supposed to say evil. You know, these our days when a child of God is undergoing a lot of problem, many a times we say that it is the iniquity of that individual that, the, that God is using to punish him. But we saw it in the life of Job, that Job was a righteous man, but one day he lost all his children, one day he lost all his blessing, all the material things. And Job began to tell us that if the reason of him serving God was based on those things that God blessed him with, he would have cursed God when those things were not present anymore. But Job said that even when God tests him, he will appear at the end as good. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, follow me to share this message by forwarding it to as many as of your contacts. Let us join hands together to save life. When God is the one that is testing us, how can we appear as good at the end? Because God wants every one of us to be faithful. Testing and trial of life is not evil. I want you to change your mentality of how you see the test and the trials. They are not evil. It's for a good purpose. Can you put your child in a school that stem from term to term, your child will never one day take an exam? Imagine a school you put your child and your child will never one day experience examination. Will you leave your child there? I discovered that no parents will ever put his son or his uh, daughter in a school that that child will not be taking an exam. Trials of faith is our test in the kingdom. Some translations call it test. So testing and trial, that is examination. And God allowed those things to happen to us because God wants to promote us. He wants us to change level. Remember that no child ever change class. No child ever go to a higher class without exam. So it is the testing and trial, trials of life is what God used to train us. God used it to qualify us for the higher realm of blessing, for the higher realm level, for the higher realm, for the higher class of glory, higher class of blessing. So if you are undergoing a lot of trial today, if you are experiencing trouble today, if you are seeing a lot of affliction today, if you are going through trials and temptations of life today, I want you to know that it is not evil. It is for your own good at the end. At the end, you will thank God for allowing you to go through those challenges of life. But what God is telling us today is that testing is from Him. He can test you. He can allow people to say many things about you. God can allow you to experience a lot of pain in life. You know, Christians have come to a stage that they think that God is no longer testing us. They thought that when you are serving God, that you will not see any evil. That is why the little challenge that come to the way of a child of God, the person will go astray. But I saw it in the life of Job. The Job said, though the Lord try me i will appear at the end as good so when god is the one behind the challenges of your life when god brings you into test the bible said that jesus after 40 days and 40 nights the spirit of god led jesus to wilderness to be tempted by satan so god escorted jesus to a place where jesus will face the test and trials of life if a son of god can go to that place for Satan to test him and try him. How much more you and I? Why do God allow tests to come to us? Because God wants to make sure that we really love him and we really stand by him. God wants to check whether you are serving him 
because of the material things he sent on your way. And that is why sometimes God allows tests to come. God allows trials to come. God allows challenges of life to come to you to know what you will do. Jesus, after 40 days and 40 nights, as Bible told us, I thought that a man that engaged in dry fasting 40 days and 40 nights, at the end of that fasting, he's supposed to see God direct, not Satan. But at the end of the fast time, the Bible makes us to understand that the Spirit of God led Jesus to wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So God wanted to know whether Jesus can remain faithful. That is why God allowed trial to come. It is not too hard for God to turn away all the problems of life you are seeing. It's nothing to God to make money to come to you in abundance. It's nothing to the Lord to make sure that you have children in abundance. God can allow those things to come to you in order to shake your heart. Remember that the Bible said that he led children of Israel for three days in the wilderness. No food, no water. Because he wants to know what was in their heart. Whether they will follow him or they will go back. He wanted to know whether the, these children of Israel will say, Oh, because we don't have this, because God did not provide this, because I don't have money, I will no longer serve him. He wanted to know whether the situation you are into right now can make you to compromise. But at the end, when God discovers that you are faithful, when God discovers that you love him more than material things, when God discovers that you love him more than the things of this life, when God discovers that your situation is not allowing you to commit sin and you are not compromising, because even when you are in that condition, God will allow many things to come to your way. He may allow different people to come to you and give you different advice to, so you can be able to disobey God and sin against God because of that condition. But I tell you, Testing is not a sin. It is God want to equip you. God want to make you better than you are right now. So if you are facing a lot of challenges, if you are passing through trials right now, be patient with God. Be patient with God in your situation. Be patient with God. Even when people are telling you to do otherwise, tell them, I must wait. You must wait for God. Because the Bible makes us to understand, Job said in his condition, I normally use him as an example. He said, Though he bruised me, yet will I still trust him. Job went ahead and said, My appointed time, I shall wait. I pray for you, you will wait for God, and God will not put you to shame. Remember, when God is the one testing you, you need to be very careful. When God is the one testing you, that time you will pray and fast. You may not see the results, but at the end, you will receive mighty blessing. May the blessings of God rest upon you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page. God bless you. See you next time. And bye for now. Shalom.